here we go, second day of sun and fun, we're minding our own business, and all of a sudden somebody just rewrites the rules, or so it seems. We're going to be able to put Dynon D10s in Cessna 150, 152s, 172s, PA28s, and PA38s for the foreseeable future, and God knows what from there. How'd you do this? Well, it's been a kind of a fun process, uh, working closely with the EAA and the FAA. Uh, we've been working with the FAA for years on the right way to approach this. The EAA and FAA actually came up with this. Both great organizations. Everybody was working together on this to make it happen. We all wanted to make aviation safer, and it didn't seem reasonable to have a lot of innovative products not be flying in majority of the airplanes out there when there's, you know, thousands and thousands flying that could use the innovations with the EAB and LSA. Now the interesting thing is this is not a waiver, this is a full-blown STC. It is an STC, that's correct. How will somebody implement it? I've got uh, my Garden Variety 172, I want to put a D10A in there and I want to go to town. What happens? Okay, well the way we anticipate it working is you'll buy that from the uh, EAA and then our equipment will probably sell through an uh, avionics shop. It, it will have to be installed professionally. Part of what we want to do is make that installation as quick as possible, but by doing a panel and by simplifying the wiring and the pitot installation, we hope to make it as quick and painless as possible to actually install. We recognize that installation is a big part of it. Where do you go from here with this? Both us and the EAA would love to extend this to uh, more of our product line. Certainly we want to extend it to more aircraft, which is in the works. So basically all light GA aircraft in pretty much our product line. Where did this idea come from? When did this all start for you? This particular program has been in the works for about half a year. The specific idea with the EAA and the FAA, but we've been working with the FAA for a long time, working on various techniques to make sure our products you know, meet the performance that they want and that we're all happy. Well, we congratulate you for an obviously accelerated step across a curve that we didn't think was even going to happen. We're excited to see ultimately what's going to come of all this, but more important, it's going to be interesting watching what's happening to the Cessna and Piper panels in the near future. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and that's what aviation is all about. Let's, let's innovate, let's keep it safe, and let's go have fun. Aero TV is brought to you by Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com.